Hello from friends, a nice quick one today. I'll just show you what I've got here. I've got no idea what model it is. It's a Epiphone Les Paul. It's got binding, so it's going to be a uh, model, is it? I don't know, custom, whatever. I've got absolutely no idea. Made in Korea. It's got an S at the beginning, so I would say that is probably a balsamic plant. Yeah, it looks to be. It's got 0204 first four digits, so it's going to be 2002 or you probably say February. 2004 uh, beautiful looking guitar and uh, what needs doing well not a lot all I'm doing is with this pickup swap and this has got standard two wire Epiphone pickups nothing special at all and I'm going to replace them with these aren't Seymour Duncan's these are USA Epiphone pickups these are actually are they pro bookers something like that yeah, Pro Bookers based on Gibson Burst Bookers. They are, I don't know if you can see that, Epiphone USA. Can you read that on there? Epiphone USA, they've got these uh, plugs on. Could be taking them plugs off, could have be wiring it normal. Um, so I need to go and get a, um, a pickup code for Epiphone wiring. And that is it. So it's basically going to be strings off. Uh, old pots, old pickups out, new pickups in, using the same pots, blah 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 blah, bit of solder, that's it, I'll polish the frets up, put a new set of strings on there, job will be a good one. Not going to be a lot to see on this one, uh, the only reason I'm filming it is I film everything. And this one belongs to, it's a returning client, uh, Mr Stephen Fawkes, he's been here before, I did a telecaster for him last year, um, and which he was really pleased with. So he's actually bought these pickups from me. Uh, so I'm fitting them at a special rate, special price, and um, what more can I tell you? That's how it is. I will throw in a little free setup just to make sure everything's right, make sure the action's right, the nuts cut right, blah de blah blah blah. Uh, but a nice simple one, very very nice looking guitar. So I'm looking forward to having a play on this. So uh, I'm going to crack on. I'll come back and show you how it all went and um, show you the result. So, I've been online to look for um, a wiring colour code for Epiphone pickups. Couldn't find one. There are loads of sheets online with all different pickups on and different colouring wiring combinations, but not for Epiphone. So, when I looked around a few forums, went on Google, and a few people say it's the same colouring code as Gibson, and others say no, it's not. So, I had to find an alternative way to find out what each wire does on and a USA Epiphone pickup, and there's a way to do that using a multimeter. So that is exactly what I am going to do because we need to know which is which coil, we need to know which is the screw coil, which is the slug coil, uh, which is each coil individually, which is a positive end, which is a negative end, so we can determine how we wire this into a guitar. Now, lo and behold, I've actually already tested this. And this is the same configuration as a Gibson. So I actually know how this works. But I'm going to show you how I determined uh, these pickups to be that specification. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around. I've got a multimeter set up. I've got pickups wired in. And I'm going to show you exactly where I measure, how I measure, well, what I measure, how I measure. And um, how we sort out which is which coil and how we know which way we need to wire this pickup in a guitar. And here we are, and here we have the neck pickup. And we have, you might see five wires, we're actually only four wires. That is the bare earth wire, we don't need to measure that one at all. So what we need to do is we need to determine, if you imagine a pickup is two, a humbucker is two single coils, a single coil there and a single coil there in one pickup casing. So it's two single coils in one. So we have four wires here and one coil is two what was two wires on one coil two wires on another to join the two coils together we join two wires together so what we're going to do is first we're going to determine which coil is which and I'm going to put the pick up that way so you've got the screw coil there I already know which wires are which but how we measure is I've got the multimeter on on ohms here to measure the DC resistance the hot or positive is the red and the negative or common or ground is black. So, first what we do is I'm going to put the red on the red. And then I'm going to try and find out which is the other coil. Once I find the other coil, we will get a reading. 
So I'm going to try the red with the green. And watch the multimeter. Nothing. So that is not a coil. Try it with the black. Nothing. So it must mean the red and the white are a coil. Or, or well, they are a coil. I actually know what coil they are. Red and the white, and we get a reading. What's that? 4.08. That must also mean that the black and the green, which are not wired up at the moment, are the other coil. So let's measure that. Green and black. Brilliant. 3.971. So now we know that the green and black are one circuit and the red and white are another. Then we need to determine which is the screw and which is the slug. So what we need to do that is we need then to move that to voltage down here. And we're going to test not only which coil they are, but which end, say the red and white for instance, we know is one coil. We need to find out which end of this is positive and which is negative. And to do that, I'll place the wires on. And if we get a negative reading, it means the one the red wire is on is negative. But if we get a positive reading, the one the red wire or the red connector is on is positive. Now I already know which coil this is. We've got no reading there. What we're looking for is when I place, I'm going to place a metal strip across the, the correct coil. Now, first we're going to determine which coil it is. So, tiny reading there, but nothing spectacular. What do we get there? We get a much bigger reading. So, we know that the red and the white are the slug coil. Now, we need to determine which one of these wires is positive. Now, I already know the red one is positive and the white is negative. And how we do that is when we place this back over the coil, we're looking for a positive or negative reading here, and watch, it will shoot up, and it shot up there to 8, and it stayed in the positive, if it was negative, you've got a negative there, let's go again, there you go, so we now know that the red is a positive wire, the white is a negative wire, is the slug coil, and they are one coil. I'm just going to swap around and show you our negative one will, get, will read out. If we get a negative reading, whenever one of the reds on is a negative wire. So there we go. Watch here for a negative. Negative straight away. See it there below my finger? Do it again. Negative. There you go. So we now know that this white wire is negative. Red wire, red wire is positive, these are both to this slug coil there. That means that these are both the screw coil, and we're going to find out which is positive, which is negative. I'm going to put the red one on the black, and then common on the green. Now we're going to measure across this coil, let's have a look. Straight away negative. So we know, yeah, negative again. Look, we know that the red connector is on the is on the negative coil. So we're going to get it right way around. So we know black's negative. Black's negative. Sorry, and green here is positive. Let's measure again. Positive reading. Perfect. So we now know that. The green and black is the screw coil, the red and white is the slug coil. We know red is positive on the slug coil, we know green is positive on the screw coil. That determines is, we know that is going to be the hot wire. I already know this because there's no wiring diagram anyway that shows um, an Epiphone pickle with a black, uh, a black hot wire. So what we do is now, we're going to wire this, or oh, we should wire it into a guitar. Earth or common, we can leave out. So we are going to go. We know green and white are going to be joined together. So we know red is going to be the positive. And this will give us a reading of the pickup, by the way. Black is going to be common or earth or ground. Get it back on the ampere setting. And when we join the white and green together, we've got both coils joined together. There you go giving us a reading of 8.08. .08. So this is a neck pickup reading 8, 
ohms or 8k ohms here. So that is a neck pickup. We know the green and white are joined together to join the two coils together. We know black is negative, so we'll join that to the earth or common. So black and earth joined together, white and green joined together, red is going to be the hot wire. So we know exactly how this pickup now needs to be wired. It's exactly the same for the bridge pickup, which is here. I'm going to go basically red is hot. This will measure 8.8 .8, by the way, I've already checked it. Red is hot, black is negative or earth. We join the white and green together. This is going to give us about 8.8, .8, I believe. And the reading is 8.8 .8 K ohms. So that is the bridge pickup. Exactly the same wiring. Uh, we know that the screw coil is green and black. We know that the slug coil is red and white. Red is the hot wire, black is the earth wire, white and green is joined together. And that's how we wire them in. So that is how we determine which is which coil on a pickup, which wire is positive and or negative, what wires join together. The two blacks will go together, that's the two earth, they'll go to the back of the pot. The green and white will join together. Now if we're doing a, a coil split scenario, that would go to the push-pull centre lug. And the red will go to the hot connection, which will go either on the, somewhere on the three-way, if we're using a three-way, uh, which in this case we're not a five-way, or it will go to the volume pot. Uh, so there you go, that is how we determine what coil is what and what wire does what. I hope that's helpful. Come back soon and we'll get the pickups wired in. Right, welcome back. And the electrics are all done. Um, best way to show you is just like that. Nice and neat in there. Um, not a very, not a difficult job. You know, the, the most difficult thing is to uh, get the one closest to the centre of the body in because you can't take the pot outside of the body that much. Uh, but everything's in, it's all nice and neat. The solder connections are all tight. I have checked <coughs> the electrics uh, with the guitar plugged in, but I'm going to check them again while you're here. So I'm just going to stop the video for a second, move the camera, and I'll be back in a second. And here we are, and I have the three-way selector in the middle, so both pickups should be on. I've not put my knobs on yet, put them back on in a minute. Both volumes full, both tones full. Bridge only, neck off. Yeah, neck only. Uh, tone. This one. So we're all working, job is a good one, so we've got to get some strings on now, get the uh, tailpiece back on, get some strings on, get the knobs back on, get the guitar set up, and job is a good one. Right, the guitar is all done, it's Saturday afternoon, I'm all done, I've cracked open the Wild Bill's IPA, it's been in the fridge, it's beautiful. Cheers, and uh, here's the guitar, looking fantastic. I haven't done a set up because I've not been commissioned to do one, I wasn't asked to do one, I've not been paid to do one, but restrung the guitar, I went online, uh, I thought these strings could be fake these Deodarios because they just didn't look right out of the box, but I went and checked the serial number and everything and it says they're real, still not convinced they are, they're too dark, but they're on, the guitar plays absolutely beautiful, I've not checked the intonation but I've had it plugged in and it sounds great, the pickups are beautiful. Uh, unless Steve's going to be very, very happy with these pickles. Beautiful, got a nice ring to it. This guitar, the pickups just take it up that notch. It just make it, uh, just make it a lot, lot better. So that is this one finished. It came in to have a pickup swapped. It's what it's had done. We've put in the USA Epiphone USA pickups in there. They are pro bookers based on Gibson Burst bookers. They're absolutely beautiful. So that is it. This is done. Beautiful guitar. Don't know what model it is. All I know is it was made at Samic in Korea around about 2002-2004. What a beautiful, beautiful guitar. Anyway, I'm going to stick it back in its case. Steve's going to come and pick it up Monday. I've got one more video to shoot this afternoon. I've got an appraisal video to do after this one. And then I've got to crack a can. A couple of beers tonight, it's a beautiful day. England just lost third place playoff to Belgium. So what? Not big, no big deal. 
Saturday, it's weekend, I've got to enjoy this couple of days off. Excuse me. So I will be back next time. Keep checking my website, fretfriend.co.uk or facebook.com forward slash N-G-O-N-E-S-E-V-E-N. That's facebook.com forward slash N-G-1-7. Um, and that's it, another project finished. So as always, Fret Friends, be good to each other and I will talk to you soon.